Welcome to DOS Geek. I want to show you how I make XFCE beautiful. Namely because I was in our Destination Linux Telegram group, which is a podcast that I'm a part of. And in that group, someone was talking about wanting to use XFCE, but every time they installed it, it just looked too dated. And they asked, how do you modernize this? So I wanted to do this video and show you an updated version of my XFCE desktop that you're looking at now and how I make it what I consider for my workflow beautiful and usable. Now, XFCE is my personal favorite desktop environment. That doesn't mean it's better than KDE or better than GNOME. This is the one that I personally love to utilize. And of course, this is on Arch Linux. So the first thing is you've got to put a different wallpaper up. Um, some of the wallpapers, depending again on the distro and their implementation, can be quite ugly. So you can go out there. What I usually do is open startpage.com and do a search for wallpapers in the resolution of my monitor for whatever distro I'm running. If you're running Ubuntu, look for an Ubuntu wallpaper or look for, you know, cyberpunk or whatever you're into, but get a different wallpaper because that's going to make a big difference. Once you have that wallpaper downloaded, you can open your file manager or you can just right click here and go into your desktop settings and choose a different wallpaper that you want. And you don't have to utilize just the default file folders. You can go to other and you can search through uh, your pictures or whatever you have to pick the wallpaper that you want to utilize. And so, Changing the wallpaper by itself can make a big difference in how, in your first impressions of how a desktop looks. So very easy to do to change your wallpaper. Secondly, I like to install Plank. Plank is a really nice dock here, and there are many different docks you can use. I can hear the comments already. Why don't you use Latte or one of the others? You certainly can. You can use whatever dock you personally like to use. Um, I have Plank here installed and I just hold the control key down and right click to get to preferences. So that is how you get into the settings of Plank here. And then you can see my theme is transparent because I don't want anything to show up. I don't, but if you like that, you can do that. Certainly there's matte, there's GTK plus where it just kind of has that little line underneath or your default. Uh, but I like mine nice and transparent there. You can position it on the left, you can position it on the right, at the top, however you like it. On my primary display, and you can change icon sizes, you can change the zoom or have no zoom at all. You can also go in here into your behavior, and of course you want it to IntelliHide. So this would be, I don't want it to show up behind Windows, this one, because settings is open, it's not doing it. Um, but I'll show you in a second, when you have Windows kind of hovering over these, they will intelligently go away so they're not staying above say if you're gaming or something along those way lines you know you have a hide delay pressure reveal lock icons uh, and then you can add some of the different docklets that they have pre-installed here but this gives you a really nice kind of launcher for your main programs and if you want something you can either go over here to your menu and drag and drop it in or if you already have a program open you can right click it and just select keep and dock and that will be a nice dock for you to launch things. Here is where I'll show you how IntelliHide works. You can see how that panel just goes away. You can also see that panel goes away. And up here in the right-hand corner, that panel goes away. So what are these panels? Well, these are actually XFCE's built-in panels, and they're very customizable on their own. In fact, you could make your own launcher if you wanted using one of these XFCE panels. So down here is a panel, and we'll go into the Preferences by right clicking on it. And this is panel number two. And you can see the only thing I have here is the whisker menu. Now I could add other elements if I wanted by clicking and add clocks or eyes, screenshot tools, all these different things I can add, but I wanna keep it clean. So I just use the whisker menu on this one. And under the appearance, the opacity's at 74 and the leaves at 74. So uh, make it kind of fit really nice with the background there. And I'm selecting here under the style instead of a solid color or none i'm actually choosing the same name as the wallpaper i'm using so the background has a nice matching appearance to it and i've got this in horizontal mode but of course if you wanted a vertical menu or things to create a launcher with the panels in xfce 
you can do that. And I have another video where a customization that I've done in XFC where I do just that. I also have another panel up here and this one I'm utilizing for my notification area as well as for getting into Pulse Audio and the clipboard here. And you can see my settings for it, the appearance. Again, I'm using that background as the background for my panel and the items that I have, Pulse Audio, Notification Plugin, Clipman, and a notification area. I also have another panel on my secondary monitor, which is big and ugly and has the whisker menu and more of the standard look just in case I need to get to something really quickly over there on that second monitor or I'm recording on that screen. You can also see that I have a customized icon here. Normally you would have whisker here, but you can click here and go to properties and you can change that icon to anything that you have. And again, in your pictures, you can search for different icons or things that you want to use. So you can change that icon and change it to an Arch Linux icon, but you can make it anything you want or leave it the way that it is. In the menu, I do show category names, show application descriptions, and show application tools. And you can see my opacity here that I have. And that way, again, it kind of blends into the background. If I was to get rid of all that opacity, you could see it would be really white and bright, and some people may like that, but I like it somewhere around here. And you've got kind of that nice blends in as you open it with the rest of your background. Uh, under menu, I do switch categories by hovering. So I want it to be able to switch as I'm hovering across position commands next to search entry and position categories next to panel button. I include favorites and show confirmation dialog. I don't really change anything in these two areas. So that gives me this nice looking menu here. And of course you can just resize it in the corner if you want something bigger or smaller that fits your needs for the menu. So Already we've done a lot of changes here. Once you've changed the wallpaper and you've set your panels to match the wallpaper and you've got Plank that's going to make XFCE look really modernized and much, much more beautiful for you. But there's more things that we can do here as well. We can change our icons. So if we just go here and type in appearance and go under icons, I'm using the oxygen theme here. You could also go, I think it defaults to the Arawata, at least in Arch. Um, you could go high contrast if you wanted something like that. Uh, but I like the oxygen theme. And of course you can always install others and you can change your fonts and sizes and things here as well if you wanna do some additional scaling there. Next, what I like to do is install a program called Guake, as G-U-A-K-E. And once that's installed, I have a nice drop down terminal window here. And of course I'm using Fish, the friendly interactive shell as my terminal editor because it's amazing. So I can just hit the F12 key. Of course you can set that to anything you want. And I instantly can get into terminal SSH into a server, or anything that I need to do. So Gwake, you have a settings option for preferences or you can launch it here manually. So in the preferences, here are some of the options that I personally have set. So start Quake at login, show tray icon, enable pop-up notifications. In the main window here, you can set that you always want it to stay on top. You can tell it the shell that you want to use. And of course I'm using fish in this case and open new tab and current directory. You can set scrolling, you can set your appearance, transparency if you want it to be more transparent. You can change all of that in Quake which is what makes it such an awesome terminal for you to utilize in such a quick way. If you need to install a program really quickly or get into a server right there through your F12 key. Now, the next thing I like to set up is tiling. I want to have the tiling ability within XFCE. I love the desktop environment i3 as well. If you want to go pure tiling desktop environment, but in this case, you can do some basic tiling with XFCE out of the box, which I'll show you here. And for those who don't know what tiling is, I use it all the time. It's where you could basically do certain key presses to move windows into the areas that you want them. So for instance, if I was doing research on a couple of different things, I may want one window down here and one window up there. If I have Zoom going, and maybe I'm doing an episode of Destination Linux. I want my notes on one side and I want the video of the people I'm talking to on the other. And all I'm doing in this case is holding down super and shift and hitting my arrow keys and I can move those windows where I want them. 
I can also do Alt and Shift and move them into corners like this as well. It's just a very quick and efficient way to be able to mess around with your windows. So how do you do that? Well, what we're gonna do is go into our window manager and then we're gonna go to keyboard and right down here, you will see the options for tile window to the top, tile window to the bottom, tile window to the left, right? And these are the settings that I have set up for that. So shift super up, shift super down, and then I go to shift alt if I want to corner them into the tiles. So this is a nice way Again, a nice modern touch to a desktop environment is having that tiling option uh, so you can move windows around quickly and efficiently. The other cool thing I like about XFCE is the right click menu. So you can right click anywhere and you can launch applications from here. You can arrange desktop icons. You can open a terminal window here. You can create launchers if you want, URL links, folders, all from right click. So right click or go into your desktop settings and set a wallpaper. So right click is a very awesome tool that's really kind of pre-set up out of the box in XFCE that I like. So one of the things that you may notice in your XFCE uh, arrangement is that you've got all kinds of icons on your desktop. So if you just right click and go into desktop settings here, you can unselect the items that you want to display or not be displayed on your desktop. Perhaps you like that completely clean desktop, or maybe you're one of those people that want everything, including your removable drives listed here. You can do all of that from the desktop settings uh, window. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you window manager tweaks. And this is a really important one under compositor. You may notice when you install Plank that in the wallpaper, you get some weird line that kind of goes across here, and that's a shadow. So in fact, I can add it back here. You can see that weird line very faintly goes across. So all you do is show shadows under dock windows, uncheck that box and that line goes away. If you have any other weird shadows or things that you need to get rid of, you can do that here. And also you can change the opacity of windows and things directly from here. So if you want things to be a little more opaque, especially if it's an inactive window, you can do that all through the settings to your desired preference. And you can also change the opacity of them while you're moving them perhaps. Um, and that's really, it's really a setting that's up to you and your personal preference if you like that or not, whether you want it more opaque or you want it completely transparent. And of course that is with, this is the windows decorations or the borders here that we're dealing with. So maybe I'll leave that setting there. That looks pretty good. And then when I'm dragging, you can see it goes completely transparent, which is a pretty cool effect in itself. So all in all, this doesn't take long. And with a few minor tweaks, you can get in here and make XFCE look very modernized. We have everything we need from, at least that I need when I'm in a desktop environment. I think the icons look pretty slick. I'm sure some of you out there uh, know how to rice your desktop even better in XFCE, but these are the simple tricks that I use when I'm setting up a new XFCE desktop environment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below some of the tips and tricks that you may have for the XFCE desktop environment. I know a lot of people are starting to talk about XFCE again because it's so simple and it always works and is so reliable. Um, but the one thing I consistently hear is the stylization of it. Um, but the great thing about XFCE is it's so customizable and so easily customizable that you can overcome that really quickly. If you haven't yet, check out destinationlinux.network where you can see all of the shows, including shows that I'm a part of outside of the DOS Geek channel. And the DOS Geek channel, of course, is a member of the destinationlinux.network. And you can also check out the amazing and cool swag that we have available there for purchase as well. Until next time. Get out there and fill your brains. Don't forget to subscribe and like and subscribe to this video.